Hello everyone, um, we are going back out to go help my dad with something and uh, so we're making this, instead of our normal test route 1, we're going to do alternate test route 1 which is going to take the way Nav wants to go. Um, I just want to say again, thank you everyone for watching these videos, it's so crazy to me that this channel is growing like it is. Um, so I just it's just really really awesome that um, uh, everyone wants to just see the content I have to produce so I really appreciate that I also really appreciate uh, I know a few of you regularly comment on the videos on uh, look our issue is still still happening not as bad still happening now Let's see if it freaks out yeah it almost made it back But yeah, so I'm, I know a, a number of you do comment um, and have good conversation. And I appreciate, again, again, the critical feedback. And I appreciate the critical, uh, not, uh, good conversation. Just, no, that was a um, definite disengagement. But... Um, yeah, I enjoy being able to discuss this with others. I, I enjoy having other opinions on how everything's going to go and how, uh, and just having more knowledge. As again, that's uh, going to be solved with uh, the full stack, I think, of highway. It's just, it swerves onto the highway. It's just, uh, it's really un unsettling. And, uh, not what I want to see. Not what I want to see at all. But, um, yeah, again, just the comments down below would be able to have, like, a technical discussion, like, what well, we're having, like, how, how does, like, the car react to certain situations, or, like, why did the car do this, or why is the GPS bug happening? I really enjoy those conversations, uh, just to kind of figure out, like, I'm, don't know it all, no one does, so it's like the more we can discuss and develop, the more we can all understand how uh, how this technology works and how it's going to uh, improve going forward in the future. to get off we're gonna see how this responds getting off the highway here automatic clean change and not and it's good but again it may, maybe it's just my personal preference I prefer to get off the highway sooner as soon as it sees dotted lines it should start moving over Truck to my left. Okay. Get over. Come on. It's too hesitant right now. When there's a car in this lane and I'm trying to get over, it sees the car in this lane and thinks it's in this lane and won't actually get over. What we're going to have to watch real closely is I haven't tested this. This is, of course, 10.0.1. I haven't tested to see if this routing issue still, ha still happens. Yeah, it's still trying to do it. This is not the right lane to be in, correct lane to be in. It is the, it is a right turn only lane. See, that's the problem with this update. It doesn't, it doesn't let me cancel it. It's gonna keep on, keep on tapping it. 
Like that's that's ridiculous that I have to keep on tapping it that often. Like, it, I don't know what their logic is. It's like, hey, the human should always be in control, and it it's making me feel like I'm not in full control right now. Stop. Stop trying to change lanes. Come on. This, <laughs> I'm gonna also record a snapshot. No, it's... It, look at... Let's see, look. Uh, okay, see? I don't know what the logic is. It, it's done that for the last... Since version 9, it has done that. Before, I don't think it ever did. Version 9 introduced that, and I don't know how to stop it. it and now it's even worse. With version 10 and up, it now just doesn't let me cancel the turn. On previous updates, it would let me cancel the turn, but now it's just like, I'm going to turn no matter what. I don't, it's like, it just now doesn't care what the driver says, history. which is um, a little bit slightly alarming, to be honest. It shouldn't do that. And I'm gonna mainly turn my speed down here. And the only reason I let it make that mistake is because there wasn't a car immediately behind me. So this is a good lane change. What is not a stop here? Okay. So we're gonna go up to speed on this road, and I suspect it's gonna turn the turn signal on again. At the top of uh, top of this hill again. Feet, they are left signal road. Yeah, it's still it's still in the blinker on here, and it, the speed limit's messed up now. It never used to drop to 25 right here. As you can see, the speed limit sign is 35. Unfortunately, I read that sign. So this is this is new with this version. Uh, I didn't use to drop the speed right there. So not only is it the map the map data got even worse with um. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. Now turn left onto North Main Street. Problem is it? I could have made it. It's good to go now. I'm gonna have to uh, truck scrape bottom. I think this might be the first time it ever made it through this intersection without a disengagement, mostly because it doesn't have cars around. So. Drop the speed here. So as it's going to a 25. It needs to be more assertive with dropping speed. Like it shouldn't take this long to get down to 25. What it do, should do is quickly drop to your offset, or quickly drop to maybe a couple mile an hour above the offset, then start slowing down. See if it tries to go around this car, and it seems like it, it might, yep. Yep. That's a disengagement right there. <laughs> This is a this is the only turn lane right here. Fortunately it just turned green so we don't have to worry about right on red. Yeah, it's getting over, that's good. Also we need to get the speed, it's 35 right here. It's the speed limit, not 20. Coming up to our critical intersection here, this is what every previous version besides version 10 and version 8.2 has failed. I'm trying to force it into this the correct lane. This is, again, this is the correct lane to be in right here. You should not be in the right lane here. Unless you're going to the bank or you're going to Joey's Bagels, which actually, well, that, okay, that might be why it's going there. Um, I'm actually going, I don't know why I do that. I'm actually going here. See if it'll correct that. Okay, 
is not going to do it for me. No, no. Is it going to correct itself? No, that's that's bad. That's now bearing right onto Drew Terrace Avenue. Okay, actually, well, he got in the right lane. Never mind. Um, a correct lane for its navigation. That that's part of the problem. I, I'm gonna start navigating here because this is where where I need to go. So I'll, I'll bring you back after we're out. Okay. So it should not have. It's still trying to go. Okay. Actually, I think that last problem was because I was on a. It was on a cruise control instead of. Um, full self driving. Really good here. Uh, previously, it would kind of stay more left to the turn lane, and that was that was pretty good. It could still stay a little bit more right if I'm being extra picky, but it was still good. Okay, so that's good too. It started a little bit sooner after that car started. Um, I still could be a little bit quicker. But otherwise, it's it's improved over previous versions. Okay, so that's good. It started slowing down immediately. Their um, vehicle detection with vision is getting really good. So it should start already speeding up. It's not it's better, but it still needs to speed up sooner. Let's see how this turn functions. Or not turn. Since we have so many uh, disengagements, I'm not trying for a zero disengagement drive. I want that fixed. That has done that. It's only ever done it twice ever on any version correctly. And I think one, one of those times is because I had a follow car. Now let's see if it gets in this lane correctly this time. I have a car tailgating me. So I don't really want it to swerve back over. Now turn left onto Long John Drive. Okay, that's better. That seems a little bit more confident. Now is it gonna try and cut in front of this car here? We stopped too far back. Right there's the line. Um, I'm trying to bring it up. After this car, we're good to go. Go for it. There you go. Excellent. Okay, obviously a number of issues on this drive here, um, but again, this is a route we don't do often. This is the route Nav wants us to take. Even I do not think it is shorter. I think my theory is that the team wants us to go in alternate routes to get more driving data. You know, I just drive every road in town, and then we'll have it. Because on AI day, the car wants map. It wants to have its own 3D map data of the area. Tesla is building their own uh, data of all areas and so it want the more unique roads I can drive on the better so this uh, this drive was okay uh, so some mistakes I would just wish would happen I wish I could override the turn uh, on the car it just the car should listen to me it shouldn't think it knows better uh, at least not yet and um, let's see if this turns better no this turn is not better see if I can get that improved but yeah everyone um, let me know if you have any questions uh, as always I appreciate your comments I appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next video bye